Hello, I'm Livy Bolan and today I will show you how to ignore tracked files in Git using that gitignore file. So let's get started. As you can see here, I'm having a, an empty repository. If I type ls, you will see that no file is listed here. And also, if I type git status, you will see that I'm on the master branch with nothing to commit and the working directory is clean. Uh, what I want to do uh, first is to create two files, file-1.txt uh, that I will create using the touch command and file-2.txt which I will create with the touch command also. If I type ls, you will see the files listed here and if I type git status, you will see that the files are untracked. What I will do next is to add both of the files in git and commit them. So I will use git add dot, hit enter. If I use git status, you will see that the files are uh, staged and uh, are waiting to be committed. And I will uh, commit them using uh, git commit uh, dash m and uh, the commit message, add file1.txt and file2.txt. Hit enter and now if I use this status you will see that uh, everything uh, it's okay. The files uh, are added uh, on my repository and uh, nothing uh, and I'm uh, having nothing to commit. Now what I want to do uh, next is to add some rules uh, in order to ignore file-1.txt and file-2.txt. For this, I will create a .gitignore file inside of my current root project. And here I will add two rules for file-1.txt and file-2.txt. Write and quit. And now if I use git status, you will see that uh, the gitignore file is listed here and uh, is waiting to be uh, staged. Uh, as you saw in the gitignore file, the rule file-1 and file-2.txt uh, were added. So file-1.txt uh, and file-2.txt should be ignored from git. But if I change the content of uh, file1 and file2 using the echo command uh, for both of the files, now if I use git status, you'll see that in git uh, both of the files seems to be modified. Even if in git ignore, uh, I've added uh, two rules for both of the files that uh, should ignore the files from git. So, uh, what uh, should I do? Uh, in order to uh, exclude them from, uh, in order to exclude uh, a file uh, from uh, git that where that is already tracked, I will have to remove the file from git because now file-1.txt is in git and even if I uh, created a rule in git ignore, uh, the file will continue to be tracked. So what I have to do is to remove file-1.txt from git and then the git ignore will apply the rule that file-1.txt will not be tracked. <coughs> so, in order to do this, I will use the git rm uh, command. Now, if I hit the enter key, you will see that uh, I will get an error that uh, the file that I'm trying to remove from git uh, is having uh, some modifications uh, and uh, if I want to uh, use uh, the, the, the rm command again, 
I will have to use the cache file, a cache file option. Uh, because I want to totally remove file-1.txt from git, uh, what I want to do next is to uh, undo the changes from file-1.txt and in order to do this I will use git checkout uh, dash dash uh, file-1.txt If you don't know the syntax for uh, for this uh, undoing change, you can uh, read uh, the info which Git is providing you from here. Use git checkout dash dash and the file name to discard changes in working directory. So I will use git checkout dash dash file one txt and now if I use git status again, you will see that uh, uh, file-1.txt isn't modified. Now I can use git rm file-1.txt in order to remove it from git. Now if I use git status again you will see that file-1.txt uh, is uh, waiting to be committed but if I use ls you will see that file-1 were removed from the file system. Uh, if you want to uh, delete a file from um, uh, git but uh, without deleting it from the file system you can use the cached uh, option. For example if I use git rm dash dash uh, cached for uh, file-2.txt uh, and hit the enter key, you will see that the same message were shown here from git rm uh, file-2.txt uh, but if I use ls, you will see that file-2.txt is on my uh, current, uh, on my current uh, file system. If I use git status again, you'll see that both file-1 and file-2.txt um, are waiting to be committed, but only file-1.txt were deleted from the file system. Now, if I, use, if I add also the git ignore uh, in git, and hit the enter key if I and then if I use git status now all the changes are staged and are waiting to be committed. Now if I use uh, git commit minus m and then uh, a commit message remove file-1.txt and file-2.txt from git hit the enter key and use git status again, you will see that everything is ok, nothing is to be committed, working directory is clean. If I type ls and use the touch command again for file-1.txt, now if I use git status, you will see that file-1.txt uh, isn't tracked because of the uh, git ignore rule. And also, if I use echo uh, content, let's say, to file-2.txt and use git status again, you will see that nothing is to be committed. So, I've created file-1.txt and I mo I've modified file-2.txt. <coughs> But the changes aren't tracked in Git because both of the files are ignored um, because of the um, git config rules. So if I use cut and git ignore, you'll see both file1.txt and file2.txt are ignored. And as you saw earlier, 
on file dash one creation and file dash two modification, the, the changes aren't tracked in Git. So <clears throat> this is how you ignore tracked files in Git using the that Git ignore uh, file and uh, also the gitrm and gitrm cached uh, option. If you want to learn more about Git, about web technologies, you can uh, check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website livebalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.